going on, Cigar World? What's going on, Cigar Enthusiasts? This is Jack the Cigar Enthusiast, and I'm back with another video. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, smash on that like button, give me a big thumbs up, and comment below to hear back from your boy Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. Today we're talking about what it means when you have a hard cigar. Does it mean it was improperly stored or does it mean that it was just rolled too tight? Well, let's dive into that. Strap in, buckle up, and let's go. A lot of times people go into a humidor and they gauge the selection of the cigar that they're going to get based on how it feels, how it smells, and different things that they use to, to determine what cigar they're going to smoke. And the same concept applies when we're actually grabbing a cigar out of our humidor. We gauge it based on how it feels, how squishy it is, and use that as a determining factor if it's ready to smoke. Some people have gone so far and got a cigar medic which tells you the proper humidity and proper quality of this cigar and if it's ready to smoke. But then some people like to go the old school way to really figure out if the cigar is ready to smoke. Now, today we're going over something that I think is a very important to understand and very important for us to know. That way we're not fooled when we do run into a, a counter with a hard cigar. Now, there are a bunch of ways to tell if a hard cigar is either improperly stored, uh, rolled too tight, or different things of that nature. But the first thing that we have to do before we start kind of classifying those into those categories is kind of gauge the cigar and understand the qualities of that cigar. But let's dive into that. I'm gonna go over the very, very basic thing that a hard cigar is obviously known for. And that is bad storing qualities or improperly stored. Now, with that being said is, there is a lot of things that go into why a cigar gets hard and we're gonna dive into that. But on this particular topic, improperly stored, there's gonna be some different indicators. Not only is it going to be hard, but it's also going to be very dry. You're going to be able to look at the cigar and you're gonna be able to tell that this was improperly stored for a long time. Wrapper is gonna be really, really uh, dry. And, and it also would crack when you actually smoke it. Now, I know a lot of people that had this happen to them where they cut it, they light it up, and then literally in the middle of the cigar, it cracks. Why? Because it was improperly stored for a long time, which produced a very dry and hard cigar. And the expansion of that tobacco while you're smoking it is not doing well with that wrapper because it's not lubricated or moist enough for it to be able to get properly smoked. Now that is the first determining factor and I wanted to get that knocked out of the way because that is something that you normally think when you touch a hard cigar. But let's go into the other side of that certain cigars are just rolled more firm than others. What I mean by, if you look at the Oscar Superfly or the Palisa Irma Fuente, those cigars that are naturally rolled tight. I mean, you can touch it even in a properly humidified environment and it's still going to be a hard cigar. But here is the reason why. Now, understanding that hard cigars not only constitute improperly stored or rolled too tightly, which rolled too tightly cigars are going to present a resistance problem. But some rollers just roll the cigars naturally firm. Now, what does that mean? When you roll a cigar, the tobacco leaf could possibly have more water in the actual leaf than versus when you got it off the shelf, which could present a firmer cigar. Also, the other part of it is just naturally, some rollers roll their cigars tight. Some requirements for the actual cigar blend require it to be rolled tight. Now, you see these just like the one I mentioned about the Superfly or your Palisa or Irma Frente. Those are naturally rolled tight. So what happens is when you cut it and you make that first draw, it has a perfect seamless draw. You even see this done on the Padron brand. A lot of their cigars are rolled tight, but when you cut into it, it has a perfect draw. And the reasons why is simply due to the fact of what I said. When that tobacco was rolled by the roller in the very beginning, it was rolled with a lot of water still implanted in that plant. 
So when it got to the point of storing and getting dried out, um, it got really hard. Again, that is not a bad thing. These are great ways to determine if you're getting a, a really great cigar because you already know when you have a hard cigar and you cut into it, I mean, the the ignition of those tobaccos within the cigar is just going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be like fireworks in your mouth because they're exposing all of themselves at the same exact time. And nine times out of ten, you're going to have a great burn quality. Now, I don't want you guys to get this confused as... Well, Jack said, if the cigar is hard, then it must be a great smoke. There is obvious things, like I stated in the beginning of this video, that you have to look for. You have to see if it presents itself as a super dry cigar. You have to present itself as when you do squeeze it. Does it crack a little bit? Does it, does it stay just firm? Because those are great indicators as well. If you squeeze it and it actually, you hear that, you know, cracking noise, then nine times out of 10, this is not a cigar that you want. Uh, and this is not a cigar that you want to smoke because it's probably experienced some of those things I mentioned in the video. It'll properly stored, not, not, not a great cigar to smoke because at the end of the day, once you light it up and start smoking, it's going to start cracking. Now, on the other end, if it doesn't do those things, and nine times out of 10, it's just a firmly rolled cigar and it's, you ought to give it a shot. Now, one thing to remember with hard roll cigars that I hit on briefly in here, but I want to kind of go back over it. Now, a firm cigar can also present one more problem, and that is the, the resistance of the draw. If a resistance of the draw is high, it's going to cause you to suck the cigar a lot harder you would than a regular cigar, which is not a good thing. Bad resistance on draws means that there are several phases of this quality control mechanism that most companies have in place that failed. From the resistance machine that tests the resistance to actual points of the quality checklist that every cigar goes through multiple times before even leaving a factory. So now I'm not saying that again, the resistance is a bad thing, but again, too much resistance is detrimental for a cigar smoking experience. With that being said, use your use your brain wisely. You know, d figure out what it is that you actually uh, should do when you encounter one of these firmly rolled cigars. Again, it was something I had to get used to, but it was also something that when I did smoke some firmly rolled cigars, I had both ends. Some was either dry and, and just poorly stored or the fact that it would just roll firmly as soon as I toasted the foot, cut it, I mean, you had a perfect cigar. So obviously, use your discretion wisely and determine what it is that you should do when you encounter this. But these are my suggestions. With that being said, go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Dapper D Cigars. Uh, smash on this like button on this video. Share the content to all your friends. Also, if you're looking for a place to shop all your cigar needs and wants, go shop DapperDCigars.com. That being said, I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, every Sunday at 7 p.m., we are live here on YouTube as well as Facebook for our virtual smoke deck. With that being said, I'm Jack the Cigar Enthusiast, and I'm gone.